Yo, what's up, YouTube? What's up, everybody? I'll come do part two of my gun news. Man, I'll probably do the story right here, man. Okay. He said, Montgomery arrested um, 37 year old Fernando um, Jimenez of, you know, of Montgomery. Yeah, he was shot with um, sexual abuse of a child, un you know, I said under 12 years old. And so they accuse him of, you know, for child abuse of a child. But he, um, you know, I said the crime happened around March 15th. So Jiminy um, Nays was arrested Thursday and transported to Montgomery County. This is a facility where he was held on a $30 um, bill. Man, I, mean, I feel like he probably did some time in, you know, in jail for, you know, such abuse of a child or, you know, or he did, you know, like pornography with the child. But, and so I feel like my gun got a lot of, um, crips out here who just, you know, trying to, you know, trying to have such young girls, you know, or somebody who's older than them. And so I feel like this story is more of a, um, story that could be probably someone who is a sex offender or someone who took a, as an event of a child who's probably in high school or middle school or whatever. If I think this dude is probably, is probably, is it, yeah, I feel like that would give him probably years in jail to do that, you know, or prison mistake. You know, if you are known as sex offender in prison mistake, you know, these dudes, is basically, you know, get, um, yeah, I feel like that would, um, dudes in, in prison is going to kill a person who have sex with young girls or, you know, like, some people who just don't like them, you know, at all, like, and so I feel like this dude, um, Fernando is probably, is going to do a lot of time in jail for this right here. It's something, you know, it's something the crime is in, like, in America for young victims, you know, like, young girls who get touched on by, you know, older, older men who just, you know, not smart about on, on what they're doing to them young girls. But the girls who are about 12, 13, 11 years old, you know, they get right by them or listed by them. It's something Montgomery, um... Probably Montgomery, who just known as being, you know, sick predators, you know, out here. Like, some people in Montgomery who are very much, you know, they trying to, you know, get the young girls to, you know, have sister with them. And, and somehow, they charged with um, raping the girl or, you know, they get charged with, um, you know, such abuse of a child. And by the Montgomery, you know, got a lot of place for young sexual offenders, you know, somebody who was, you know, a dude. I said probably 30 years old, 37 years old, 40 years old, you know, they get shot with um a crime like a rape of a child or such abuse of a child, you know, they all very much, you know, take advantage of young girls on uh, mine and how they can't get shot with a crime. And I know crimes can't be, you know, um disturbing to the the whole city of Montgomery, how Montgomery don't like a person who just, you know, out here trying to, you know, try and give young girls who probably in high school or middle school. If I think he's probably, you know, did some stuff that wasn't right, you know, like pornography, you know, or having her touch her her breasts, everything. If I feel like this dude is a creep dude who just, need to, you know, I say, I say that he need to be put in jail for a long time. And so, like, what they on? Yeah, I think, like, yeah, myself, I don't like a person who just, you know, mess with young girls. Myself, I think it's creepy. You know, I think it's sick for real. I think it's more about how how young man who thinks about, you know, getting involved with a young girl who probably um younger. And so I feel like it's a, a no wrong move for him to do that, you know, wrong move for him to um you no know, have you know, have sex I say with an appropriate um I say an age girl. And like Montgomery, you know, do got a lot of that going on in the city, how people just like that who just crazy in the head, somebody who wanna um you know want to get Involved with, basically with a young girl who probably underage, and so I feel like it's a type of things where people need to be careful with their um you know uh, I some dudes out here who just creepy from for real though, and so I feel like parents should protect their kids from creeps like this you know or somebody who's still, somebody who just you know I hear you know I don't know like they need to protect their kids from creeps like this on the streets you know but and so I feel like this type of story it could. Be a story to where it be a type of like a um, you know, a more um, more of cautionary um, tale about how how 
young girls, you know, get caught in, you know, top of um, things where men who take advantage of young girls and, you know, they end up, you know, raping them. And they, and so I feel like this type of thing can happen, like, basically, like, in another state, you know, but, it, it, and so I think Alabama has the highest rate for basically sex offenders or somebody who's known for, you know, for, I say something that a young girl and probably, but, and so I feel like he, you know, I think he should be put in, to, um, I suggest a long time for this type of crime. Like, crimes can't be very much horrendous, you know, especially if you just, you know, kind of never know basically what a person does in life and how it does, you know, on, basically, on how a person might, in, you know, kind of end up, as doing the wrong stuff, you know, wrong things, you know, think it'd be, you know, um, I say not good for the community, or I say not good for their own neighborhood to have a crew like this, and, you know, out here, we're trying to take advantage of young girls' mind, and so I feel like these things should happen, you know, I think these things should not be happening to young girl, and how she might grow up, you know, being traumatized about, you know, you know, about the horrible events, I said that to her, um, in life, and so I think young girls, you get too much more afraid of men, Nowadays, because they experience, I said a lot of you know abuse. You know they experience uh you know, a lot of, you know a lot of um, things. They have to in life you know like you know they've been raped, touched on everything, and so they cause I said a lot of um you no know, a lot of um traumatization to her mind to where the young girl might think about what happened to her in the past you know on how her life you know you know is gonna change forever. You know how this dude had took advantage of her, but and so I feel like it's a tragic um, story here though. How this dude should be put to um in prison for life, and how this dude should never ever get out, man. But um, so I think parents should protect the kids from creeps like this, or I said everybody like, who's a stranger. You know, always make sure you, uh I make sure you protect your kids from like creeps out here who just want to rape girls and everything, and how. The young girls fall victim to basically a predator, and um, so, so I feel like you know parents should able you know be able to like have to say um, I said they have children to be safe from um, for creeps, pedophiles, and you know in the type of um people who like to miss young girls, but so, 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 so yeah, so yeah, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, peace, and my take care.